Hello my lovelies, hope you're all doing so well and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another rambling review of my glossy box. I am thinking that this might be the last month for a while that I do get um, any beauty subscriptions because I'm kind of bored off them. So let me know in the comments below, is there any that I really should be getting my hands on, anything that I'm missing out on? Let me know because I'd like to get one that I'm really excited over but at the moment I'm not really. Anyway, let's just get stuck in and see what's in this one's glossy box. This is American themed, I'm going to assume because it was July, 4th of July and all that sort of stuff. So, stars and stripes, yada yada. Looking at it, I'm not really overly impressed. Um, we have a Carmex moisturising lip balm, helping lips since 1937. So let's see, Carmex lip balm is worth £2.69. Whoop de doo! Um, and this is a full size product. Don't get me wrong, you guys know I love lip balms and stuff, but seriously, it's not something that I really appreciate getting. Does smell alright. So, next item I got is a colour club. And this is in Glossy Seal. It looks absolutely gorgeous colour. So, I mean, I'm excited about that. Um, it's worth $8. So, nothing too major. Okay, hang on. That's a bit... Okay, so it looks like it's a 1 to 2 coat polish. So, thanks to Jen Loves Reviews for that we tip to see the thickness. So, I mean, a Colour Club does seem to be a really, really good company. I like their brand, I like their polishes and stuff so far. So, yeah. Next item is by Juice Beauty, and this is a Green Apple SPF 15 moisturiser. Um, certified organic. It feels like it's half empty. Let's see if I can see up in the light. I mean, this is definitely all empty up here. This has got product here, yeah. Probably about that much that's got product in it. However, it is sealed, so let's open it. It smells nice and fresh. It's quite thick. It smells lovely. It doesn't smell like there's just apple in it. Um, it says age defy antioxidants, broad spectrum sun protection. Um, this lightweight daily moisturizer contains chemical free broad spectrum sun protection with age defying peptides, DMAE, alpha lipoic acid, COQ10, and organic fruit. Yeah, so there you go. That's really not exciting. Um, so what does it say about this? This isn't a full size. Full size is 50 mils for 35.75. So work that out. You know, this is 15. So say 10 mils is 350. So half of that, you're talking five pound. This is worth a fiver. Okay, big deal. So next item we have is by Absolute New York. This is a Glossy Box Premiere. This is an eyeshadow primer worth $4.99. Um, eyelid primer base, oil free makeup base, soothing formula evens out the skin tone on your lids and smooths out lines. Um, it's quite shiny. I don't know whether you can see it. There seems to be a bit of a... I don't know. A luminous glow or something to it. So, Absolute New York, never heard of it. I'll try it, it's worth trying. We will see. The last item in this is by Bella Pierre. I've liked their products so far. And um, this is a lipstick in Ruby, which I'm not really excited about for the summer. Um, but it'll get used coming into autumn and winter, I guess. Let's see. It's a blue tone. I quite like it. It's worth £20, so I guess at least there was one product that was worth a few quid. But, do you know what guys, I'm really not that fussed on this box. I haven't been overly fussed on the glossy boxes for a while now. 
they're just very blasé and compared to some of the things um, that like I've been getting in Birchbox and stuff um, I haven't actually got Birchbox this month I wish I got it instead of Glossy Box because I'm sure it's much better so anyway let's go and check out what I got in last month's box what I've tried what I think of it and whatever so one thing we got is this Neil Girls top coat and I think it's actually a base and top coat and I did use it a couple of times whenever I was practicing and doing bits and pieces and it's pretty good it doesn't have a strong smell or anything it's it's quite long lasting Neil Girls is good although I do find that their prices are quite expensive for what they are I think they could do a wee bit more with the packaging to be honest with you Um, full size is $13.50 so and this is a full size um, next item is a Got To Be Rise and Shine Souffle. I didn't really use this that much. Um, it's just a hair product, you know. I wasn't really excited about it. I didn't think I was supposed to be getting hair products. Um, it's not something that I would use that often. I did try using it whenever I was sort of scrunching my hair and stuff. Um, it was just to give your hair textured volume, silky shine and stuff. It was okay. I wasn't overly fast, so I probably won't really use it much. Um, it is worth £4, £4.7p to be exact, from Superdrug. The next item I didn't use, I have to be honest, because I really didn't like the smell of it, and it was the Roger and Galay. Um, I don't know what it was about it, but they it came with a... What was this again? shower cream body lotion and a fragrance and it's a fruity floral and fig inspired scent allow your senses to take a break reminiscent of a walk through a mediterranean garden there was just something about it i can't remember what it was there's something in it that was really really overpowering and i did as you can see i did try it a couple of times um really tried to like it I did want to. After really falling in love with the Guess um, sample that I got, I was like, you know what, I might like it. But I don't know, it reminds me of something and I couldn't put my finger on it, but I really didn't like it. Um, the next item I don't actually have with me. I've left my makeup bag in Lynn's car and it has this brush in it. It is by Tease Trend Cosmetics and it's the beautiful flat stiff brush. It's worth 19 euros and guys, I don't know whether it's worth 19 euros. I don't know whether, I'm really funny this way, but I find I struggle with spending like 20 euros, 20 pounds on brushes and stuff. Um, but it is a fantastic product that is just really good for packing on and sort of putting up into the crease and you know, all that sort of stuff. It is just a brush though. 19 euros is a lot but I really really did like it I was so glad to get to try it and I've really enjoyed it it is a beautiful brush as well so I really like getting that you know for the fact that it was 19 euros in a box from glossy box let's face it it's nice to get something that's worth a wee bit more the last product in here is by so susan cosmetics and it's a concealer quad which is worth 20 pounds as well and I have to say I really really have liked using this product it's actually become a staple of mine this past week um, and the only thing I don't like about it is this can be quite hard to open Um, I tend to end up nearly breaking my nails every time the other thing I don't like is the back of it this sticker could have been put on better I just think it kind of took away from the presentation of it you know for 20 pounds it doesn't look like it's worth that much if you kind of get what I mean so that would be my only really gripes is the package and it's not easy to open it's badly the stickers badly put on and it just doesn't look like it's worth 20 pounds um, stay tuned this week for my love me beauty box to see what I got this month and what I thought of last month's products and I will see you all next time love you guys Mwah. bye bye